go, 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 go. Hold on, this isn't where the story starts. It's like it's starting at an interesting point to catch the audience's attention. Huh, that's weird. Anyway, I suppose we should start at the beginning. Tames at Ark Survival Evolved are pretty useful. They can be used for farming, fighting, they can get you around places, they can make you look cooler. They'll do pretty much everything short of wiping your ass for you. And it's a pretty commonly accepted belief that the difference between a good tribe and a not so good tribe is their tames. But personally, I don't see it that way. So to test this out, me and my good buddy MLG Bonk decided to hop on the most populated PvP PS4 servers and see just how far we could make it without ever taming a thing. Now, as with any good wipe, we made our characters, gave them pretty appropriate names, and got to doing our note runs. Um, alright, I'm done, I'm done with my note run. Level 71? Good enough, I don't care. I really am struggling to find the energy in me to care. This is also good, so when I lose a fight, anytime I can blame my level. <laughs> Look at chat, gay, tribe of gay, let's go. Where, uh, give me your rough coordinates, little buddy. Mm, like 85, 25. Now, Mr. MLG Bond here had spawned next to some people, and they were being quite nice to him. Well, he just, he, he gave me some meat. Okay, wait, 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 where are you? I'll bring you a torch and we can just bust on him. They're actually quite, they're actually quite kind. Where are you? I'll drop you a torch and we'll go to pound down on these kids. My man's just giving meat out. He's very kind, actually. I don't give a fuck. Please don't kill them. They're, so, they're, they're, they're chilling right now. This is world peace achieved. Right along the beach. Oh, I see the campfire. I see the campfire. All right. I'll Please don't kill them. They're so... They're just chilling. I'll drop you a torch. We, we better go massacre mode. You ready, bro? No. I'm gonna drop you, I'm gonna drop you a torch. <laughs> you can't make... Hey! Dude, a guy with a fucking cool ass Argentavis just showed up. He's watching you kill him! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Act like we're not the aggressors right now. Act like we're just chill little guys. Maybe the RG guy. Hi, RG guy! Hi. <laughs> Let's go, dude. World peace. <laughs> he just gave us 200 hide. Keep grabbing the loot. Keep grabbing the loot. Don't let them get any. Don't let them get any loot. Don't let them get any loot. Alright, listen, this isn't one of my proudest moments in ARC is all I'll say. Scooping up loot from a guy in an RG, it's a little, it's a little degrading, I'll be honest. But hey, loot is loot. Alright, follow me, dude, let's get out of here. We gotta go. Oh, oh, I just ran right at them, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta leave. Dude, that hide <laughs> is unironically a huge start. I see one right here, dude. It's like furnaces are on and shit, too. Come here. There's furnaces on in there, you can hear it. it like three or four, these guys are heavy farmers. Dude, one C4, and I guarantee you that's insane profit. That's the kind of bases we need on this server, honestly. I say we get some a couple grenades together and maybe fuck that up. Now, we were dreaming pretty big for people who had just recently gotten a hand out of 300 hide. But that was actually a lot more important than it sounded. Let me explain. Now, since we weren't going to have any tames, it was going to be very hard for us to defend a base. So we decided, screw it, let's not defend it at all. Let's make a nice little hidden base. How can you raid someone if you can't even find them, right? This base is going to be so hidden, in fact, that I'll mark it right on this map right here. Now, you'll notice that this is pretty far away from where we are in a pretty sketchy area, right? How are we going to get there? And that right there is where this one trick that makes this whole run possible comes in. Parachutes. For the cost of, like, 10 hide and 40 thatch, we could just fucking shoot across the sky, avoiding every cliff, rock, river, and dangerous little carno down beneath us. It's a really good trick that enough people don't make use of. Yeah, we can just parachute the whole fucking way, dude. This is easy. <coughs> um, if we can, yeah, I mean, like, on day one, you- My, so my game just crashed. <laughs> All right, I load it back in. As soon as I load back in, I see someone spell my name wrong in chat. That's awesome. You want to make the foundations and the ceilings? I'll make the walls.
You can have these. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, right, this shit is down. hidden! You like it? I fucking love this! And you know what? I'll go so far as to say MLG Bonk was right. A small little 2x2 two two, nestled right up against a rock and hidden inside a bush. If that's not hidden, I don't know what is. Sure, if you get really close to it and you really put your mind to it, you might just be able to see it. But take a couple steps back and it's damn near invisible. And if you think you're finding it from above, you are sorely mistaken. And this works even better because nobody's coming through here on foot. So the only angle people are looking at us from are the angle we're most hidden from. We were feeling pretty confident about the hiddenness, uh, I don't know, the hidden ability of our base. So, we decided to uh, start infighting, I guess. Out of my Ramshackle chitin leggings, so that was actually worthwhile to loot. Sorry, what? Ramshackle chitin leggings. I'm sorry, what? Kill yourself. I hate you. Chitin leggings. Get out of here. Thank you, man. I'm glad that you're saying it right. Shut your You're saying dumb, it correctly. Horny ass up. Chitin sounds so much cooler. You should kill yourself now! <laughs> Alright, throw your, throw your metal in there. Right, right now, the goal is to farm quicker than that guy in that base we want to raid. Okay, furnace is smelting. Now that we had the base set up, it was time to start farming grenades. And the good thing about having teammates is you can treat them as slaves. So out of all the things required to make grenades, I myself will only be getting the oil. I'll just go ahead and leave the rest to MLG bonked, like a good friend would. Oh my god, this is a giga buyer base. This is not- I'm not memeing, bro! It's like a 15 second run from our base. I'll drop off the oil, then I'll take care of it. Okay. I don't- you know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this giga hanging out in our backyard. I'm pro-segregation when it comes to me and gigas. I have to agree. So with the Giga now led away, I returned home and found the six grenades crafted. And I'm glad to see MLG Bonk was finally, you know, carrying his own weight. After I'd done most of the farming for the nades, he, he at least did the decency of crafting them. Alright, uh, I am ready to go. I am too, yeah. So with us both ready, we headed out to raid the house we'd been looking at earlier. I What I really hope is that they didn't upgrade all their shit. I really <sighs> doubt they upgraded the 2x2 two two in the past, like, hour and a half. Alright, ready? <laughs> Don't pull it. Uh, I might have fucked it up. Ooh, I just cleared it. You good? Yeah, pit. <laughs> oh shit, is this it? Since we had last checked with this guy, he had tamed a shitty level 21 RG. So we're gonna have to kill that first. It's on, it's on passive. Kill it as quick as you can. I'm piking it. I'm gonna blow up his base now. Oh. Base is blown in too. Uh, the refining forge is in the way. I gotta pike these out. Can you cover me? Just keep an eye on me, alright? He's whistling shit. Fraud. He's coming to fuck. Oh, he's piking me, he's piking me. He's got flak on. Watch out. Stand back. I wanna try to follow him. Okay. Got him! He's fucked. Get his ass. <laughs> White boy gonna get spit roasted. Oh, 
He, you on fire for 30 seconds? Julio here had lost his life, his tames, and his base. Needless to say, he was probably not having a nice day, but we were. Come on. He's respawning in here. Uh, cover the door. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> he opened the door. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh, you're fighting back. Okay. Uh, uh, so what should I make? What should I make? Uh, okay, lots of chitin in here. That's... All right, I'm making uh, two long necks. Two long necks, okay, poggers. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna craft some pistols. All right, making two pistols. I really want him to come back and close like the door on it. My game just crashed. All right, dude, you gotta guard. <laughs> you gotta guard me, bro. So despite uh, treating him like a slave earlier, MLG bonked, took good care of me, made sure nothing happened to me. Uh, you know, still gonna treat him like shit though, cause I'm a good guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm back in. Come on, let's go. Listen, the longer we hang out here, the sketchier things are gonna be. So, we were walking out of there with two long necks, two simple pistols, a good amount of chitin, some narcotics, and a little bit of loose metal between the two of us. Not half bad. Let's go! So after getting home from this nice, cool little raid, we went out naked scouting for more bases to raid. But we found something even better. Goobers. Oh, hold on, this raft has its door open. I'm gonna do a loot check. God damn it. I didn't even get to do a loot inspection. Oh, homeboy's pulling up to fight me, huh? Alright, homeboy, where you at? Oh, he's letting me do a loot inspection. Thank you. Holy Jesus. What the fuck is that? Ultimately, I ended up uh, taking too long at the base, so they closed me in. And because I'm a spiteful person, I destroyed everything they owned. I mean, that was okay. The base was, like, across the map anyway. I wasn't gonna run home for fucking 13 metal hatchets. Come on, who does that? After this, me and MLG bonked logged out for the day. Day one had gone pretty well. We were getting used to our lifestyle of traveling around like homeless people. Let's see if we have the grenades. Or if the grenades could be- Oh, what the fuck? Dude, we gotta get C4. This guy has a, a singular turret now. Alright, listen, I know I'm not one to talk, I live in a 2x2 two two hidden deep in the woods, but tell me this is not the goofiest base you've ever seen. I mean, come on, when my caveman brain sees something like this, can it do anything except start planning the raid? We'll need a good amount of C4 going into this one, at least 6 C4. Okay. Honestly, I don't feel like demolishing the forges and making new ones. We could just put the fabricator on the top of the base. Uh, CP secured, by the way. Very important that nobody else finds this, okay? Now, because I had done most of the farming for the grenades, I decided I'd take it easy on the C4. I'd get the silica pearls and leave the rest to MLG bonked. So hard is it? No, not that. All right, we got the we got the nine C4, bro. We chilling. With the C4 now made, we readied ourselves for a beautiful little raid. You should you should see my guy when he's burning the fucking flak armor. He looks like a he looks he looks like a silly little fella. Silly little man. Now the base we were going to raid was quite far away. We were lucky in the fact that we lived right at the base of one of the tallest mountains in the game. Dude, you're like half. Let's go.
All right, I'm gonna hit it. Oh, we might be able to clear the redwoods, bro. Might like the floor and just get the spikes out of the way. That's literally what the grenades are for. Okay, yeah, you can literally just walk up to it right here. Look. Maybe I can do a little, little C4. There we go. Explosions. Alright, anyway. Explosions. Boost me in. You literally gotta punch me in. Okay. Yes! Um. Well, would you look at that? 3C4. The same amount we'd use to blow in. So that basically means this whole raid was just free. The smithy got destroyed too? Fuck. The loot in here was actually pretty good. But since we have no tames, we pretty much had no way of carrying most of it out. It's simply just too heavy. So we decided to turn this from a raid into a business endeavor. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So there's a smithy right there. That's right, we were raiding this base to use its smithy. But then we ran into another problem. So now we have two problems. We got this new spark powder problem, and we got that old metal problem still hanging around. Both of which are just too heavy. We can't take either of them back. Problems that have both, by the way, been caused by me blowing things up. So do you want to take a guess on how I tried to solve them? Our refining forge. That's right, another raid. Gold star for you if you guessed it correctly. And with this third raid, we had now acquired the trifecta. Charcoal spark powder and metal we can refine those down and ship them all home now so we went ahead and turned these three raided bases into factories okay yeah let's just get gunpowder made and then just turn this into like long neck and pistol ammo and that'll be easy to cart back <laughs> thanks for the money stupid fuck all right, here's what i want to do uh grab all the spoils of war put them in the back mortar and pestle here i want to see all of our loot like combined Now what is war good for exactly? Well, according to our raids, roughly 750 metal and 1500 gunpowder. Not half bad at all. Time to take it all home. <laughs> Alright, get in, get in, get in. Are we back with the loot? We squeezed that base of like everything it was worth right there, honestly. <laughs> Having come back from the raid, we logged out for the day. We had no clue what would come next, but whatever it was, we knew we'd be rich enough to handle it now. Once I logged in, I found a couple of messages had come through. Someone on Discord had let me know that there was a cave base being set up. And while it was still weak right now, it wouldn't be long until he was unraidable. So I went to go take a look for myself. <laughs> the last legit soul. <laughs> Run! Although I died, I got a good look at the defenses he'd set up inside the cave. A single stone gate, and behind it, a turret tower with two turrets on top of it. Now lucky for us, we could just use grenade to take both of these down. Because he's built in a cave, his structures take six times as much damage. But we gotta hurry, because if he gets more than two turrets, there's no way we can do anything to him. So here was the plan. We would take seven or eight grenades with us. No need for C4 on this trip. We'd then head down near his base and set up a small little stone one by one nearby. Then inside that one by one, I'd throw in a box and a bed with my weapons and armor. Me and MLG Bonked would then head from the one by one down to his base. I'd blow open the gates and blow up the turrets in a suicide attack. MLG Bonk would then rush into the cave and hold things down while I spawned in the one by one, re-geared, and ran back to help him. So I messaged MLG Bonk and let him know his fat ass needed to hop online. Hello, little buddy. Hi. What you doing? Just chilling, sitting down. No, that's the wrong answer because you said you're supposed to say hopping on Ark Survival Evolved. You hopping in, little buddy? I'm getting tired of your shit. No, you know what I mean in a nice way. <laughs> yeah, of course. Right, you're up, little buddy. So are we gonna rip and pillage this guy, or are we just gonna pillage? What kind of question is that, man? <laughs> Alright, mister, I am prepared. Yeah, you ready, little buddy? <laughs> this is a kick on the mountain, dude. 
Okay, we're parachuting right here. Let's just go. Let's just go. Parachute south. Come on. Follow me. Oh, we gotta go. Over there. All right, little buddy, I'm gonna set up the one by one. You're like a handicapped child. Yes, I do. You're like I have a little caretaker. I'm getting worried. Are you being unsupervised out there? Dude, you fucking yeah. suck! Oh, I see you. You see me? Yeah, I see your ass. Okay, little buddy, you ready? Alrighty. So we headed out to what was very obviously going to be a quite easy cut and done raid. All right, you ready, little buddy? I'm ready, little man. All right. I'm gonna stay about here. Go, 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 go! I got it! The fucking the generator's down, dude. The plan was going better than expected. I was still alive, so we decided to press our advantage and push down there as fast as we could. Low HP, but I still got the torch I'm going. Oh fuck! There's an RG. <laughs> He's shooting me with a shitty pistol. Oh, these teams are gonna kill me. Those are good level. Oh, he bullied me! How quickly our luck had turned around. The teams he ended up having were a lot stronger than we thought. But there was still one chance to turn this around. The one by one still had my kit in it. So I'd have to put that on and run over. And win a fight by myself, the two of us couldn't win. Needless to say, things were not looking good. I don't know how he killed you so quickly through the flak armor then. Uh, just, just spawn back, dude. Just spawn back around here. I'm already dehydrated. You got a new gate already? This kid just had a gate standing by. What the fuck? You know what I got? I got grenades. Grenades standing by. Whoa, 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 hold on now. You didn't seriously expect a satisfying conclusion to this story, did you? That's right, you are getting cucked on the cliffhanger today. If you want to find out what happens, I don't know, I guess you're just going to have to subscribe. That's just the way things are, I suppose. I don't have any control over it. Thank you to El Gabo and Z, The Donkey, Tatanka, Toasty Kiwi, The Epic Mango, XX Daniel MLG XX, Luca, Impatient Platypus, Jonah, Covered Box, 06 Dog 06, and David Salinas for being a bunch of fellows who enjoy some creeping and peeping.